Alright, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be in the shop. I got off of work today. I planned on doing some work in the bee yard and doing uh, a little bit of recording. Unfortunately, it's a rainy, gloomy day today. It's about 90 degrees and humidity 100%, so it's sticky and humid and awful. And, and it is what it is. This is mid-Georgia, early summer. This is just what it's going to be like until September. So there's not a lot I can do about that. However, before we begin, I want to apologize for the fan. You're probably going to be able to hear the fan running and see the fan throughout this entire video. It's going to move around and follow me around the shop, and that's because, again, it is hot here. Now, what we are going to be doing today is building ourselves a hive stand. We're going to use this 2x6x8 pressure-treated piece of lumber. We're going to build one hive stand. Now, the reason I need a hive stand is with the demise of Red Dawn, I actually had one of the subscribers reach out to me and offer me some bees. Uh, the gentleman's name is Tom Krynak, and he lives here in Georgia, and he offered up some bees, and I mean, who can turn down bees, right? So I accepted, he brought them over this last weekend, and we set them out in the bee yard, and we put them in the little blue nuke. Well, the little blue nuke is what I'm trying to use as a swarm trap, like that's gonna happen. I haven't caught a swarm yet, don't think that I will, but I'm gonna keep trying. Um, and I wanna get those bees out of that nuke because it is a very strong nuke. I wanna get them out of that nuke and into their own hive. Now, unfortunately, I had already done a split and populated the red hive. So the red hive has bees and that's just the way that it is. But the new hive needs a stand and that's what we're gonna be building today. So we're going to try again to get one hive stand out of one two by six by eight pressure treated piece of lumber. Let's begin. All right, so this hive stand is going to be modeled after the hive stands that I've bought from Better Bee. This is the same hive stand that we put together and used on the top secret 10 frame cabinet hive. Um, I've also already built one of those for my resource hive, and now I'm going to build one for the new hive. I think it's going to be pink. I don't know. I don't know what color we're going to use for it, but uh, whatever color we do use for it, it does need a stand. So the first thing we're going to do is cut this board down to 14 and a half inches. And that will give us two of our legs. Okay, these are our legs. All right, now what we need to do is we need to measure two inches down on the top. And two inches up on the bottom. And then it's as easy as connecting those lines. Do the same thing here. Okay, now for this operation, I'm going to use a bandsaw. You can use a table saw, you can use a circular saw, you can use a hand saw if you want to. Just follow shop safety guidelines. I'm not always the safest guy in the room. There's my finger. I don't want to show you just that finger alone, but it got sucked into a machine the other day. I'm gonna lose my fingernail. Hey, it is what it is. But don't do what I do. Do what I say, follow your shop guidelines, be safe, be safer than me anyways. Uh, but anyways, let's cut this board. All right, let's cut our board. Two more legs. And we're back here. Now we need four boards 18 inches long. And so that's going to be two cuts out of this board. So our first 18 inches.
and now we're going to take the remainder of this board, the 2x6x10, and we're going to cut it in half. So it's at 31 and a quarter, so I'm going to cut this thing at 15 and a half. Taking a smidge. Alright, so now we're going to go to the table saw and we're going to rip this long ways. Alright, again, be safe. All we have to do is assemble. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to play a game of Jenga. We're going to put our long boards right there. We're going to put our short boards on top of the long boards, like so. Then we're going to glue and toenail these in, and then we're going to repeat the same step. Long board, long board, short board, short board. Okay, let's glue it up. One more. Okay, now this isn't the magic. That's the magic. We'll turn that over. Now, one leg will go here, one leg will go here, one leg will go here, and one leg will go here. All we have to do is lift this cage up and then screw it down. I just happen to have some scrap wood. You can use anything that you've got to lift it up. Right. So now, what we want to do I'm going to take this cage and we're going to smear some glue on it all the way down one side. There's one leg. Just throw one screw in the top. These are decking screws, by the way. One screw in our next stringer right there. Do the same thing on this side. We want to make sure that we line the flat part of this leg up with your stringers right there. Right, first one. All right, now we do the other side. Here you go. This is our one board build, our one board hive stand. Now, 
this hive stand is based on a design from BetterBee.com. I buy most of my beehive equipment from BetterBee, and all the hive stands in my apiary, with the exception of the two flow hives, uh, have stands like this. Now, when I buy them from BetterBee, they cost me $57 and some change each, not to mention the shipping to get them here to Georgia, and they're not light. So by the time it's, it's here, it's $75, and I'm just not willing to spend that kind of money anymore. This hive stand cost me about $8, the cost of a pressure-treated piece of lumber, uh, 2 by 6 by 8 and about 30 minutes of my time. It actually would only take about 20 minutes, but I made a mistake and I actually glued and screwed the legs onto the wrong side of the hive at first, had to take them all off and put them on the correct side, but through the magic of editing, you probably didn't see that. Doesn't matter, I'll tell you when I make a mistake. I always do. But with all that said, do me a favor. If you like this channel, do me a favor and hit the like button. If you have something to say, please comment. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of my new content. Uh, I'm not an expert. I'm just learning as, as I go, the same as, uh, same as you are. This is my second year beekeeping. Uh, but I do build a lot of neat things. I guess I have a playlist down there somewhere. You can find the button and click it and see the things I build or some of the other uh, playlists that I have down there. Uh, but with all that said, I want to thank you again for watching. I do appreciate it. And uh, be happy. Have a great day and be happy. My bees are going to be happy as soon as I get some bees in this and this out to the apiary. I'm always happy. I'll see you next time. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.